Hey, how's it going? This is Ben Stubbs with Flamenco for You with another lesson. This is the Guajiras Flamencas. Don't be mistaken, I'm not Esteban. It's a beautiful day out here on the lovely White Sand Beach. And we're going to be working on this Guajiras, which is an A. It's always an A, or a La Mayor. First, before we get started, when I use uh, terms like La Llamada or La Respuesta, the call and the answer. What I mean is the call, as in... And then the answer is the call in A major or La Mayor. So if I were to sing it out, it'd be Oye, ¿cómo estás? Estoy muy, muy, muy bien. Oye, ¿tú cómo estás? Estoy muy, muy, muy bien. Okay, the call and the answer. Okay, we got that out of the way. First movement is pulgar, the thumb, on A. All right? La. Next, that's the arpeggio. This is I, index finger, M, A, right? And you might be wondering, if you've never seen this before, in flamenco we do our A major chord, la mayor, in uh, a different way than you might be used to in the textbooks. So let me show you here. You see that I have my first finger doubling over the D string and the G string, and the second finger is on the B string on the second fret. This is what it looks like. A little close up there. You see that? All right. So you may be used to the traditional way. First finger, second finger, and third finger all on the second fret on their respective strings. We're going to stop that from now on. We're not going to use those three fingers like you might be used to. We're going to be doing it from now on in flamenco. Forever. With the first finger doing a mini sejilla over the D string and the G string. And the second finger is going to be by itself on the B string, playing the C sharp note. And that's how we're going to do it from here on out. For all the compas, all the palos that are in A major, this is how you're going to form that A major chord. And if I catch you using those three fingers ever again, I will... I don't know. Anyhow, so we were at this bass note and the triplets here. And then fourth finger on the fourth fret of the A string with the pulgar, the thumb. What do we have? Okay. A, triplet, C sharp. Then we have another little arpeggio coming down. This time, A, M, I. So after we have that C sharp note, we do an arpeggio downward, or rather, in, in terms of the guitar, upward. So in total, what do we have? Arpeggio there, thumb on the C sharp, downward or upward, if you're looking this way. And then a pull off. Fourth finger on the fourth fret of the D string, playing with the pulgar, pull off, and we're hitting that E note now. Once again, F sharp and pull off and let the E major ring. What do we have so far? A. C sharp, and then move that fourth finger up to the D string, fourth fret, pull off. Okay, what am I doing with my right hand on my thumb? My pulgar is resting this whole time on the G string. Watch it again. Okay, now it's resting here on the D string, and now after this arpeggio down, it's resting on the G string, even as I pull off. Just relax and let that pulgar rest on the next string. We have our E major, uh, the answer, remember, okay, playing that bass note. Get your fingers on the left hand, your fretting fingers, in the shape of um, E major, but take off that third finger so you're not playing the E, okay, and you have that seven. And not an arpeggio, but all these fingers, I, M, A, at the same time, playing the D string, G string, and B string. And then, third finger goes on the second fret of the B string. Now we have our fourth finger going on the third fret of the B string, doing a pull off. Okay. Now we repeat once again. Okay. Now we're on to the next measure. 
the same kind of a pattern, A, arpeggio, C sharp, downward or upward if you're looking this way, pull off from F sharp to E, and then E major. And now we encounter a uh, half sahia where our first finger is on the second fret. The tip of it is extending down to the E note or the D string. We have our first finger on the sahia on the second fret. And now we've got our second finger on the third fret on the B string. Third finger is on the fourth fret of the G string. And our th fourth finger is on the fourth fret of the E string for that chord right there. So we play that two times with IMA, and then we play our E note, and then we take off our fourth finger from that fourth fret, and then we actually take the first finger off of that E string. So really, it's only touching the D string and the G string. So once again, we kind of have that mini sahia that we did have earlier with the A major chord. Let's go back again through um, the second measure up until that point. So. And then E pulled off of the uh, fourth finger is off and then let go with the sakia on the first finger. So it's only touching the D and the G string and that's the second measure once again let's do that again all right not an easy thing to pull off I will tell you that but if you practice and make sure that you've got a solid sahia on that first uh, finger on the second fret and keep in mind See where my finger is very red right there? I don't know if the camera picks it up, but um, where the flex is basically on that first finger, okay? That flex is very important. This groove right here is where uh, there's got to be a little bit of a gap. There's got to be a gap there. It's going to cause a little problem where you're going to get buzzing. So you have to really try hard and push down that gap, okay? That little crevice or as they would say, crevasse. And make sure that there's no buzzing on that G string. So this looks pretty similar. It looks pretty much identical to the first measure. Pulgar, playing the A, arpeggio, C sharp, down or up, depending on what you're looking at. And then pull off, fourth finger, off the fourth fret, pulling off, letting that E ring, and then E major chord. Pull off, fourth finger, to the third finger. It's a very silent pull off, once again. Okay. Don't expect a lot of um, tonality from that, but it's there. D to D flat. And then letting D, A flat ring, and B ring. Once again. So let's listen to it at a medium slow pace. Here we go. Un, do, tre. Hey guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support, especially if you are a Patreon member. You guys, you make this world go round for me. And I really appreciate your support. If you're not a Patreon supporter yet, come aboard right now. What are you waiting for? Become a tribe member. Get your free tabliture. Get your MP3 tracks, your practice tracks, and access uh, to uh, the podcast and videos ahead of time before anybody else. You get this exclusivity that no one else gets. When you learn this, I want you to share it as much as you can. Share it with the world. That's the mission here. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time. For more information and to receive free materials, news updates, and more, subscribe to Ben's newsletter at flamencoforyou.com.